Holy crap, guys, it's true. They are in the market. The Danny Moonstar, uh, technically a uh, troop builder also for the rest of the New Mutants. Uh, but the main figure is Danny Moonstar. It's a much awaited uh, update to the previous Danny Moonstar. And what they did here is pretty clever. They, um, since New Mutants wore this very similar uh, uniform, uh, just this simple black uh, and yellow with um, the X, they included uh, the heads of um, Wolfsbane and Karma. So you get, technically you get three figures in one, but you'll probably want to get, if you can find them, uh, three different bodies so you can have all three together. Um, so they're all standing side by side. Um, yeah, got super lucky today. Another Walgreens exclusive. Um, somebody in corporate office of Walgreens probably collects these. I don't know why they have these exclusives. It's pretty insane. I mean, what's, what do I go to Walgreens for? Uh, at the moment, uh, just prescriptions and action figures. That's just an odd thing. Um, uh, but yeah, I've been scouring Walgreens left and right. There's only two around me, so it's been very, very hard to find. So I'm just super excited that I tracked one down. Um, well, without further ado, let's check her out. Okay, I thought I'd bring in some more light here. Uh, as I unbox Danny, let's take a look at the figure. Ooh, that's pretty, it's pretty in there. Oh, be careful with these pigtails. They just pop in right there. There we go. And she comes with Karma. That's her head, head sculpt. What I really enjoyed about New Mutants, especially when um, I kind of came in to com comic book reading, uh, these were, you know, these were already old comics by then, but I really enjoyed the diversity. Uh, I know, obviously a big word nowadays, uh, but this was really a revolutionary comic book written by Chris, Chris Claremont as uh, almost every member of the New Mutants was a different ethnicity and all very interesting in their own right. They featured two Native American um, uh, main characters and that would be Warpath and Danny Moonstar, obviously. Uh, they had uh, one of the first Asian superheroes and um, that is Karma. I've her name escapes me. It's a Vietnamese name. So we have a Vietnamese heroine. And then uh, in Wolfsbane, she is uh, Scottish. So yeah, very diverse team as X-Men tried to break that mold too. Uh, with giant size X-Men having Thunderbird and Storm. nooks and crannies here to get all this stuff out. So let's take a look at, um, comes with a bow and arrow. Looks more like a classic, uh, more, you know, hand carved style instead of a modern, um, bow. Like what Hawkeye would have. Uh, and then we got some extra hands. So this looks more like uh, for Karma because she has magical powers and psionics. So it looks more like a psionic hand pose. And of course, Wolfsbane's werewolf-like claws. She's a shapeshifter if you're not familiar with the comic. So let's look at the body and Moonstar's head sculpt. Yeah, these, they're, oops, I'll pick that up, you heard that drop. 
edit here. So yeah, the sculpts are pretty awesome. I think very true to, they're, they're both semi-realistic and true to the comic book. I, I, I love all three sculpts. I'm sure you'll see these guys for sale. If people buy three, they'll have extra heads. So keep your, keep your eyes out if you just want the heads and make your own custom bodies or if you have a body laying around. Um, let's look at the figure itself. So, yeah, take a look at that. Let's see if I can adjust the light here. Yes, very, very cool sculpt. Very pretty uh, and powerful. Nice, powerful uh, face. And what else can I say about this? What I was thinking was this might be the mold for the next Kate Bishop. And I know that the Kate Bishop currently is super hot. Like she's getting 30 bucks uh, loose on eBay. Uh, and rightfully so, that uh, Hawkeye um, Disney Plus is, uh, is looming in the air. It's all a buzz. And I'm looking forward to that show. And... I'm not sure if I'm ready for another subscription service, but if they're going to be that um, thorough as far as all the properties, I might be suckered into trying Disney+. Plus. Um, yeah, let's check out some articulations here. So she has pretty nice, um, sturdy shoulders there. You got a ab crunch with the twist. There's no waist twist, so it's all twisting from up here. Um, let's see. So this has been like the standard, uh, looks like the standard mold. I think um, it's very similar to Psylocke. Get very stiff out of the box, so I don't want to force it too much. But yeah, I don't want to force that too much. So got some wrist actions here. Very crisp out of the box, the thigh twist. Not a huge range of motion on the thighs, just normal. Yeah, that's not bad, but not great. Um, got double jointed knee, standard, right? Got the angle roll, not bad. Let's see if this has the shin twist. No twist on the shin. So yeah, just basic dramatic poses. Let's um, give this a shot. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. That, ooh. Yeah, this might be a problem. This is not very friendly right here. Let's see. I do it, all right, whew, thank goodness. All right, maybe that'll make it easier from here on out. Uh, as like, like I said, I, I snapped the figure in half trying to do that, and that was a Daredevil, Netflix Daredevil. Let's see if her head motion. This might need to get glued in. This keeps popping out over pigtails. Let's see, normal head movement here. Can't look back too too far. Let's see if you can look down. I don't know. That's pretty fused. Yeah, I don't want to force it. But in theory, she can look down and look up. Let's see if that joint is fused. Let's just switch over. So this joint was pretty fused. I had to kind of slowly work it in. And uh, now it's moving a little bit. Let's take, it, take a look at Wolfsbane. So Wolfsbane's head sits pretty high on the, on the body. Not really impressed with that. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, weird neck exposure here. So probably not the best 
for this figure. I mean, she looks fine looking up. I mean, she is pretty skinny in the, um, in the comic book. But this, I don't know. Not into it. I guess with the hands in place, it's passable, but that's that neck, that craning neck is bothering me. So far, it's mainly for Danny, this, this body style. They might need, to, might need to find another body for this head to sit on and, um, I don't know, not into it. Let's check out Karma. Karma's head looks much better on it than uh, Wolfsbane's head. Um, it could be just how the sculpt is on um, Wolfsbane's um, chin and neckline area. Might be too exposed. Or maybe the, the hole itself isn't deep enough. Um, but yeah, Karma looks fine. But uh, I really just wanted... You know, I would have been fine at being just uh, Danny Moonstar. Um, but, you know, it's a nice little bonus that they throw in. Um, even though the theory is you can have three figures in one, most people are going to probably buy all three. I'll probably end up buying all three. All in all, um, I'm happy with the figure. Um, there's some drawbacks with the extra heads. Um, one is you kind of have to decide which one you um, want to pose permanently. Um, it's kind of delicate around the neck area, I find, and these are really tough to put in. But may you know, maybe if you put them in once or twice very carefully, you can wear down the, the uh, peg, but I don't know. You might just have to decide to, you know, obviously buy all three and then you put the, the heads on once and for all and not switch too much. Uh, all in all, really cool effort. Uh, very cool exclusive for um, for Walgreens, again. Um, good job. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying to find a couple more of these so I can complete the set and not have to pop heads off and on as um, I, I don't want to break the figure. So um, put it together, display it, decide which head you want. Um, I am a little disappointed that you can't really put the arrow in the bow, but I don't know. Maybe I can figure something out where I can um, adjust her hand a certain way. I can't really pose it the way I want to with the bow drawn, but you know, this is a good compromise. Like she's about to draw the bow. Um, and in comparison, we have um, Kitty Pride right there. And she's from the the BAF Juggernaut uh, wave from a few years back, so matching up quite nicely. And of course, we see her a lot because I really like this figure, Magic. So New Mutants coming along swimmingly. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me for this kind of. Uh, impromptu emergency unboxing. I was just super excited to get Danny to, to find her finally. Uh, it's a beautiful figure. Um, try to find it. <laughs> it's really, uh, it's already getting some good money online, if you don't already know. Um, and it's only going to get harder to find. Um, I do wish this X was more prominent um, on her uniform, kind of like how Kitty's is, but whatever. These figures are some of the best toy lines I've seen in like forever. So uh, once again, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying all the videos that I'm doing. I still am doing the um, the Build the Warlock uh, BAF wave with the, the Jim Lee X-Men. So do check that out. Uh, I only did Colossus the other day, so uh, we have a few more coming up. Uh, thanks again. See you on the next video.